Hey Fingsters, Shubham here. In this video, we will be discussing about variable scopes in Python. So the objective of this video is to discuss the following topics. Scope of variables in Python, which can either be local, enclosing, global or built-in. Then we move on to discuss the use of global variables inside a function. Then we will be discussing global variables across modules. And finally, we shall discuss the non-local keyword. So without further delay, let us move on to the discussion on scope of variables in Python. Now, let's discuss the scopes one by one. What's a local scope? When a variable is created inside a function, it is only available within the scope of that function and ceases to exist if used outside the function. Thus, the variable belongs to the local scope of that function. Now, what's an enclosing scope? An enclosing scope occurs when we have nested functions. When the variable is in the scope of the outside function, it means that the variable is in the enclosing scope of the function. Therefore, the variable is visible within the scope of the inner and outer functions. Now what's a global scope? A global variable is a variable that is declared in a global scope and can be used across the entire program. That means it can be accessed inside as well as outside the scope of a function. A global variable is generally declared outside functions, that is in the global scope which means it is generally declared in the main body of the Python code. Finally, what's a built-in scope? The built-in scope is the widest scope available in Python and contains keywords, functions, exceptions and other attributes that are built into Python. Names in the built-in scope are available all across the Python program. It is loaded automatically at time of executing a Python script. Now let us have a look at this in a program. So as you can see on the screen, we have a global variable a since it is declared outside the scope of any other function. Now in the program, we have couple of functions foo and a nested function func. The variable b is a local variable for the function foo. However, it acts as an enclosing variable or a variable within the enclosing scope for the function func. Func has a local variable c and can access the variable b since it is within the enclosing scope. Func can also access the variable a as it is in the global scope. Foo can also access the variable a since a will be available all across the program. To show that, we have a print statement at the end of the program where we print the scope of A. Now let's try and run this code. So there we go, that's the output. Now let me explain that to you. When we call the function foo, foo then calls the function func. Now when we enter into the function func, the first statement that gets printed is the scope of the variable c. Now c holds the value local, so the output is local scope. The next print statement prints accessing b, which holds the value enclosing. Uh, I mean I chose the value to be enclosing in b because I wanted to depict b is in the enclosing scope. So it should print accessing b or accessing enclosing scope from local scope. Similarly, we print accessing A that is global. Now I chose A to contain the value global because it's in the global scope. So this should print accessing global scope from local scope. So that's it. And finally, the print statement that is outside any other function should be printed that is A which holds the value global, so it should be global scope. So that's the value on the output screen. I hope that was clear. 
Now let's move on to our next topic. We shall first discuss global variables inside a function and then we will be discussing global variables across modules. So let us quickly have a look at the usage of global variables inside a function. So let me clear out the screen. Now suppose we have a function by the name foo. Inside the function we have a variable which holds the value 25. We now have another function by the name demo. Now we want to print the value of x inside this function. Now we call both the functions one by one foo and then demo. Now will this work for us? Because x is in the local scope of foo and as we learned before a variable that is local can only be accessed within the local scope of that function. However, let's check what's the output. As expected, we get an error, a name error to be exact. So how can we overcome this? A very easy solution to this is the global keyword. We can use the global keyword to declare a global variable inside a local scope that is a global variable inside a function. So let's declare x as global and now x becomes global. This means x can now be accessed by the function demo as well as it can be accessed throughout the program. So let me print x outside both the functions. Now let's check if this works. So as you can see, this worked. So this is how we can use a global variable inside a local scope of a function. Now let's move on to the next topic that is global variables across modules. Now in order to be able to use global variables across modules, we need to create a special file known as the configuration file. So without going into the theory, let us have a look at this. So we have a file by the name config.py. Don't worry, I just created this file. It's empty and now I'll write the code. So in this file, we declare our global variables by the name a equals zero. This is just an example. You can declare your global variables b equals zero and name is an empty string. So I created three global variables a, b and name. Now we need to create another file. So I named it modify.py. Now in this file, we will change the values of the global variables. So as you can see in config.py, I declared the variables and in modify.py, I'll assign the values or change the values of the global variables. So to do that, I need to first import the config module that I just created. Now, I'll access the variable a of the module config and I'll provide it a value of 100. Similarly, I'll access the value b and give it a value of 5. Finally, I'll access the value name and give it the value Fingster. Now that we have already updated the values of the global variables, we need to write our main program. So I'm going to write a pretty simple program. But before that, I need to import the config module and then import the modify module. Now I'll declare a variable result 
which uses the global variables a and b and then it multiplies them so this would mean a which stored the value uh, i guess it was 100 and b was 5 so it should produce the result of 500 and then i simply print the result I'll also use the variable name which I declared previously so it would be welcome config dot name now let's check if this works before that let me clear out the output screen yeah now let's check if this works and there we go so we have 500 and it prints welcome okay the spelling is wrong out there let me go there and just correct it yeah so let me run the code again and there we go 500 and welcome finkster now before wrapping up let us quickly discuss about the non-local keyword the non-local keyword is useful when we have a nested function. If you want to change or modify a variable that is in the scope of an enclosing function or an outer function, then you can use the non-local keyword within the inner function and access the variables inside the outer function and then change it. So let us have a look at that. Let us define a function foo. Inside foo, we have a variable a, which has the value 25. Now we print a inside foo. Now we define another function by the name demo. Now this is a nested function. Now we try to access the value of a and then add 100 to it then we try to print the value of a inside the function demo now we call the function demo from within the function foo and finally we call the function foo now let's check if this works so what i did was i defined or declared a variable a and stored the value 25 within it then i defined a nested function demo and then i tried to access the variable a since it is a nested function and a is within the enclosing scope so i tried to access it however i also tried to change the value of a so let's check if that works let me run the code and as expected we get an unbound local error so how to overcome this error we simply need to use the non-local keyword so I'll say non-local a so now I declared a as non-local now let's check if this resolves our problem and there we go so non-local clearly helps us solve our problem now it is also clear from this that when we change the value of a non-local variable the value of a also changes so just to show that to you let me print the value of a inside the function foo after a has already been changed within the function demo so let's check this and there we go 125 so as you can see the print statement is within the function foo however in this case we are printing the value of a after it has been changed within the function demo so that's why when we print it out within the function foo the value is 125 so 
any changes made to the non-local variable a will also be reflected in the local variable so that means a here is the local variable for the function foo since we made a change to the non-local variable a which is within the demo function it also gets reflected in the function foo so when we print it out we get 125 now that was enough for this video i hope you learned something from it please give it a like if you learned something out of it and subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you